Hi, welcome back to Kindergarten All-Stars. I'm Miss Maria. Usually you will find me at the tiny library by the South Meridian YMCA, Hillsdale Elementary School in Hillsdale Park, or you will see me in the Outreach Department at the Meridian Library District. But today, I am bringing you Kindergarten All-Stars from home. It has been so much fun to see the amazing paper chains that you made and all the cool things that you found in your nature walk. Thank you for sharing your kindergarten readiness journey with me. And you're doing a great job getting ready for kindergarten at home. So let's go ahead and warm up our hands and warm up our feet and shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Ready for the fun part? Can you clap your hands, stomp your feet, and shout hooray! All in a row. Yes! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! It has been so much fun doing Kindergarten All Stars with you. I'm so glad I'm back with you today. Let's go ahead and we'll get started with our name game, Hecty Pecty Bumblebee. Now as a reminder, I'll say Hecty Pecty Bumblebee. Won't you say your name for me? Then we will take turns saying our names and clapping our names. Well, everyone will say our names and everyone will clap our names. Clap on our laps our names. Whisper our names and shout our names. I'll go first. Hecate Peckety Bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Miss Maria. Let's say it, Miss Maria. Let's clap it, Miss Maria. On our laps, Miss Maria. With a whisper, Miss Maria. With the shout, Miss Maria. It's your turn. Are you ready? Hecate Peckety Bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Let's say it, your name. Let's clap it, your name. On our laps, your name. With a whisper, your name. With a shout, your name. So, I have been having a lot of fun today making tie-dye. And I wanted to share it with you. Now, as a kid, I used to make tie-dye shirts every once in a while, but it always seemed like a lot of work with the boiling water and all the different parts, and you needed the kit. But today, I've been making an easier form of tie-dye that was a lot of fun, and it had stuff with stuff that you probably already have around your house. I've been making paper towel tie-dye. All you need to make paper towel tie-dye is a piece of paper towel, markers, a book to write on because the markers will bleed through the paper towel, a hair thing, or a rubber band, string, something that ties it together. But really, if you don't have any of this, you can still make it even without it. I have a cup of water. I've been usually making my paper towel tie-dyes at the sink, but since I'm not able to move us by the sink. I am just have my cup of water here. And a piece of cloth 
that I dry out the paper towel tie dye on so it doesn't bleed onto my table. And it's really fun and simple and it's great to be creative with this. So I have the red and blue today because 4th of July is coming up at the end of the week and I love the way red and blue looks together anyway. So I want to start with a star in the middle. Now I'm going to go ahead and color this, this star in. Now I'm not going to color every single spot because part of tie-dye that's fun is the blending. And so seeing how the white spots work with the colored spots, the blending in together. But also, it's fun to see the different colors at work. So I'm going to make stars in the corner that are not colored in and see what happens when I put water on them and blend them together with another color, the red. Now, make sure to put your lids back on your markers afterwards so that you can use them again because it's not fun when markers dry out. So make sure your lid is on really tight. All right, now I wanna make stripes. So I'm just gonna do stripes along the side. And I also wanna see what happens when I do the stars together with the red. So blue star with a red star over the top, what it looks like when I put all those colors together. Make sure to put your lid on and here click in place. Now you fold your paper towel. And then once it's all accordion folded, fold it in half as well. Now I'm going to put my hair thing over it because it kind of helps with the tie dye process. If you don't have anything to tie it off like a rubber band or a hair thing, don't worry about it. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick my paper towel in the water really quickly because it doesn't work as well when it's too wet. Just want a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to put this on my piece of cloth so it has some time to blend the colors together. And while that is taking its time blending the colors together, I'm gonna to show you some of the ones I've already made. So this one I didn't put almost any water on it because I wanted the design to stay. So you'll see the stripes and the stars in the corners. This time I want to, this next time I want to see how it goes when there's a lot more blending of colors. Now this is Boise State colors blended together. Originally I had BSU written down the side on here and then a number one over here. But when I put so much water on it, it just smeared the design but I still really like the orange and blue together on this. And last but not least, I decided to make a tree. So you can see my trunk is brown and the greens on the side and a little bit of yellow for the sun in the corner. And there's some spots of blue for the sky. And I really like how it turned out. It really does remind me of a tree. So let's go ahead and see what happened with my paper towel. Usually I'd give it a little bit more time to blend, but I want you to be able to see what it created. All right, so opening it up, it's really, really wet. So I'm gonna open it up a little carefully, especially because usually I give it a little more time. There it is. Now I have the book on my lap because it's dripping. 
Oh, look at the red and blue and the purple all together. And you can kind of still see the star in the middle. And it made a star on this side and on this side. So much fun! I really like this. It feels kind of like a sunset. I would love to see what you create when you make tie-dye paper towels. If you could take a picture and share it with me in the comments below or on our um, social media account at Meridian Library, it would be wonderful to see the tie-dye paper towels that you make. And parents and guardians, so cool. It, it is actually kind of relaxing to make these and fun just to play with the designs. So I'd love to see yours too. Anyway, um, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.